Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. This time I want to pour a sort of dragon flower and a fairy flower. And I just mixed my resin. I use here the ultra cast resin from Elechem, which I have from Etta Art in Germany. And I mixed some of the peanut resin ink in there. It's um, also from Etta Art, and if you want to have um, similar colors, just check out in the US Octopus colors. They are very similar to the Etta Art um, colors. And now my second color is the Mango. And I'm doing exactly the same in my second coaster. But with my white, I will be pouring later a little bit different. So this is again the peanut from Etta Art and the mango. The mold I'm using here is the square rough and tough mold from Molds and Shapes. And as you know, guys, I really love this mold and I also love these techniques. And I love to play around to see how I'm getting the color shading. If I, you know, different kind of things, how it's reacting when you pour the white a little bit different, etc., etc., etc. But this is really inspired this um, technique by resincourses.com. I'll link them into my description box. And there is also my mica. I'm now using a mica and that's the difference to the dragonflower, which I visited, this course I visited. And I'm just, you know, adding a little bit of the golden caramel mica, it's from Etta Art, into my mold. It's a little bit ziggy zaggy in the first one, the second one is better. <laughs> but this is what happens. But by the way, both um, or my techniques are inspired by resincourses.com. And, you know, once you have... Um, the course, once you have the first success, you, you learn to play around with these techniques and it's just brilliant. So, but like I said, I will link everyone into my description box, also the discount codes, so you can just check it out. So now I'm having my white and um, I'm using here the pigment drops from Etta Art. And with my first coaster, I'm just doing dots like in the fairy flower. So I will be busy for a while. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> it takes always a little bit time to, to place the dots. But I just thought I show you the process. And if it's too boring for you, just fast forward. But I think sometimes it's nice to see what you're doing and etc etc <laughs> yeah i i just love playing around with these techniques and i recently noticed um you can just get different shades or different um patterns some people get like bright flowers other people like me i'm i'm i love the more feathery um flower effect and I love to have them um, not too bright also. So it's it's up to everyone who they how they want to have them. But you see, I'm busy with my dots and the dots are already moving a little bit towards the center. And I find this always fascinating to watch. Yeah, now I'm almost done. I'm not doing the dots right to the center. You will see I just leave a little gap. Just a tiny one. So the second one I'm just pouring like the dragon flower. You see it there. It's just, are these the M's? I think these are the M's. <laughs> And then there comes a row with the W's. And then the second and the third row will be the M's again. I think when you use the piping bag, you have much more control, even though I learned how to pour with just pouring out of the cup, but because of the dotting, I just thought, do this in the piping bag. So 
So and now I thought to fill the center a little bit, just a few dots. I don't know if it does any difference, but this is what you know you are playing around with to see what is resin doing and well. Now with my next one or my first one, I'm also adding dots again just to have more white because the white really helps for the pattern. And you have to need to have a lot of patience with this technique, but I don't mind. I, I just enjoy it and it's always fun to see what yeah, what the result is gonna be. So and now I'm almost done with the dots. And then I have a little time lapse, how you see how the pattern is changing. It's also always amazing to see. And then I'm taking the rest of my white. I'm doing here a little bit more of the M's with the second coaster where I do more of the um, dragon flower technique. And I also place a few more drops of the white in my first one. Yeah, sometimes I have to think, what did I do, even though this pour is maybe three or four days ago before I did the voiceover, but you really need to think about it, what you've done, but you can see it anyway. So, so I'm just placing my dots. But I'm not placing them right to the center, as you will see. And I think it will be awesome to see, does it make such a big difference if you dot in this technique when you pour your, your colors, your base colors in the same way? And here, um, as you see, I'm using clear resin. And then you see also beneath um, that the white already worked its way. And now I'm, I'm just wondering, yeah, what different results I can get with, yeah, with different dotting or different pouring of the white. And here I have a little bit of a sort of copper color um, glitter and I received this from Sandra Rettig. And it's a glitter from Laura's Art Corner, but Sorry, Laura, I don't know what it is. Sandra didn't write it down. It's it's a coppery color, but I don't know which one. So I thought it matches well with, with these colors. And I'm just putting this into the center and I'm letting the resin do its magic. I let it work. Here I'm going a little bit with the heat gun just to give it a final push. That's um, what I'm doing, but very, very gently and also to pop some bubbles, which are on the surface. But besides this, I just let the resin do whatever it needs to do. And you can see that it's moving just a little bit. So, and this is now the next day. It's, I think, 14 hours later because it's a deep mode. It's one dot two centimeters deep, the resin is curing much faster. So I'm very curious how these are going to turn out. And yeah, what color I have on the other side and about the pattern, of course. So just let's have a look. And look at these. They look so natural, I think. And, and I love the desert. It's almost like a desert color. I love it. It's really beautiful. And the second one. And this is very similar except from the center where I only had these dots, but they are actually very similar to each other and I love both of them. And this is the final result. And you can see nice flower patterns and they really look like feathers almost. And I call it a desert flower. <laughs> so with this, I love and leave you. And thank you for watching. And we see each other hopefully for the next video. Take care, guys. Bye bye.